Hi, this video was supposed to be up for Halloween, but you know me, constant disappointment. But it's always the spooky season in my heart, so it's okay. And we can still pretend it's Halloween. Fist fighters there, this. They're fucking dead. They died because it's so bad. Okay, let's take this away. It's a perfect time to draw some extremely cursed toys. Like this beautiful, magnificent creature, the thickest boy, which I like to call Ethan. And technically he's not a toy, but he's definitely cursed. Definitely very, very, very legit. Yeah. Congratulations to whoever made this. Nintendo should be knocking on their door any minute now. Just beautiful, nothing wrong here. But you know, you can't expect Pikachu to look like this forever. Time is not forgiving even to Pokemon. So I wanted to draw this guy because I don't know why. Just look at it. He deserves to be happy. By the way, it's a storm outside. Holy crap. Trees are falling. People are dying. I always forget how beautiful my sketches are. <laughs> uh, so my idea was to draw him as this normal Pikachu, just chilling in a beautiful scenery. <laughs> A beautiful Pikachu in a beautiful scenery because he deserves that. Just being a happy bootleg Pikachu with way too many chins. Not a care in the world. With very thick weird arms with visible claws. Like, why are they red? Is that blood? Why does he have a human nose? Why am I even asking? Nothing makes sense. By the way, not trying to be a tutorial channel because that's not what I am. But for everyone who wants to know, my brush size for line art is usually 5 or 9. I like really thin lines, so usually I use the size 5. And because someone will ask anyway, I use Photoshop. <laughs> when you're just too lazy to draw the rest, that's me. I am lazy. Even though I generally don't enjoy drawing backgrounds, outdoor backgrounds are okay. I can work with that, but indoor backgrounds? God, I hate them. Add some glow, add some blur, some noise, which is the grainy effect. Voila, it's done. Wow, the new Pokemon anime is looking great. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pika- <laughs> He looks so sad. His nose is happy though. Once again, I went for the screenshot look. Like it's straight from anime. The weird bootleg Pokemon anime we all want. At least I do. <laughs> Protect him and his 50 chins. It looks like he died and went to heaven, honestly. You're free. You're finally free, bootleg Pikachu, right? Just go. Just go. Just go. How different would the world be today if Pikachu actually looked like this? Honestly, I think he would be even more popular. So I don't know the story behind this Winnie the Pooh. I've seen this hundreds of times with different captions. But I'm guessing he's sitting in a dentist's office, encouraging children to wash their teeth in a very subtle, adorable way. Because apparently that's a thing. There are a lot of these weird educational dentist toys. Please. Please. Thanks. I fucking hate it. But one thing is certain. I have a thing for drawing teeth, so Winnie... My body's ready. Or was ready. Because I already drew this. I had absolutely no plans for this. I just started drawing. Yeah, I usually don't have any idea what I'm doing. I just do. 
and hope for the best. But I knew it was going to be a horror themed. Really? Do I need to say more? So I just imagined him sitting in dark, eating honey or honey. Yeah. That's definitely honey. And a line art. The brushes I used for this was also five, by the way. I wanted to mimic the original coloring from the old Winnie the Pooh cartoons because I love how they look like but it ended up being a mixture of that and something made by Ghibli I just can't help myself always a Ghibli trash absolutely beautiful <laughs> 10 out of 10 Some honey, aka piglet, tiger, that's Eeyore, rabbit, the whole happy family. I could have went crazy with the blood. Because I love blood. But I kept it together. I kept it civil. And I think it's okay. It's so fat. <laughs> I just want to squish those fat folds. So. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So not completely happy with the result. But goddamn, I love drawing teeth. Get help. I just now realized I completely forgot to add the honey text on the pots. I can fix that. Some comic sans. Wow. Now that's terrifying. Anyways, I hope you like my version of Winnie the Pooh. He definitely killed all his friends. Yeah, definitely. They're all in there. I've never been a big fan of Winnie the Pooh, I know, shoot me, but this Winnie the Pooh I would love. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> there were many other cursed toys I wanted to draw too. For example, the fashion rat. Sewer beauty really speaks to me spiritually. Or this horrible abomination. <sighs> or this, or this. But maybe next time. What cursed toys or items should I draw next? Or should I? I think I think that's the question here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this. But if you want to see something truly scary, forget this. Go watch my last video where I did some face swapping. That shit was terrifying. It's scary how many bad tattoos and cakes are out there. Believe me. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And guys, stay adorable. Please pray for me that I won't die. Because the trees literally look like they're gonna fall down any minute. But it's 2020, so if I die under a tree, that wouldn't surprise anyone. Anyways, stay adorable, guys, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.